TikTok's dumbest trend, no poop July. No poop July might be TikTok's dumbest challenge. Some treat it like a joke, others take it seriously and- Look at that guy's face. Day 34 of not doing a poop and her stomach is backed up. Her stomach is about to explode from all the poop that's backed up into her stomach stomach jesus while it's giving users hundreds of millions of views it's also infuriating the entire medical field no poop july is taking over tiktok and some doctors are hoping oh. <laughs> users do not take the challenge seriously the trend okay. was first started okay. by tiktoker ok cron who with just a couple thousand followers posted this initial video in july 2020 on. at this okay. point in time Ridiculous challenges were TikTok's claim to fame, helping OKCron OK go viral, amassing 84,000 likes. Wow. See, just by doing this type of stupid stuff, like on TikTok, and then like you get like the like the fame for it, and, and it's just like, okay, so what's next? All right, yeah, I'm gonna get fame. I'm gonna do no poop July. What's next? I need to get agencies. I need to get uh, backup help. I need to get some. I need to. I need to start hiring people to know what's my next move because I would not have a clue because I got famous off of No Poop July. The majority of viewers simply laughed about the concept, but with Kron himself commenting, can I make it till the end, he'd posed a serious question. Mm. Was it actually possible to go 31 days without pooping? Another user urged Kron that he shouldn't even try, yet he still proceeded to his second day. <laughs> By slightly increasing the strain on his face, Kron <laughs> gained a further almost half a million likes, which after again repeating on day three, showed how instantly popular the challenge was becoming. Oh. Other TikTokers therefore began to beg, can we please not make this a thing? Yet OKCron OK dismissed him as a hater who'd already failed. Then by day number five, the challenge was also criticized by Reddit. And while some commenters asked what goes on in TikTokers heads to make something like this, right. others thought it was hilarious. How did I not know about No Poop July until now? By yeah. day number eight, OKCron OK himself oh, squeezed man. out a little smile. Yet by day 10, the struggle had returned. He looks uh. like he's in genuine pain. That's because I am. Ooh. When questioned on day 11, how am I holding it in? Hit state answer is on the hat, which was branded with the Flex Seal logo. However, this only helped okay. temporarily as on day eight. Why does he look so stiff? Is he like that throughout the whole day? Day 18 of No Poop July. Hey, Jesus. He was totally exposed. I think someone stuck into my house. He's using the bathroom. I swear, this is all a big misunderstanding. A big misunderstanding? It's No Poop July. I'm going to expose you. Okay, Kron therefore made a sad announcement. I have failed No Poop July. Oh, wow. Understandably, he shared his devastation. It just slipped. It just slipped. I don't know it what slipped. to say. It just slipped. So you shit yourself. <laughs> Yet the very next day, he revealed he was still going. Uh, Kron had seemingly used his one free poop coupon, which allowed for one emergency dump without disqualification. To ensure wow. it didn't happen again, he'd throw away all his toilet paper, lock up the toilet, throw away all his toilet paper again, and lock himself out of his bathroom. This, this is terrible. This to join in on the challenge, which it seemed okay Kron didn't really appreciate. Homie trying to act like he started the biggest trend of this month. Copycats, however, couldn't slow him down as OK Kron successfully beat the challenge, or did he? When oh. told you better not be pooping off camera, bruh, OK right, Kron responded, exactly. I'm not, yet Kron's friend then exposed him by showing it was fake. You might how? know him as the kid who hasn't pooped for 26 days, but how? today I found proof that he lied to us. Okay, how? Do I know? Did you fail? Be real. Yeah, obviously, like, I do in the hospital, but it was pretty damn obvious. Wait, what? Ah, uh, yeah. Wait, no poop July, bro. Did you fail? Be real. Yeah, obviously. Like I'd be in the hospital if I. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that does make sense. I mean, he would be in the hospital if he didn't poop. I mean, I mean, he'd probably not be living. I don't think. I don't know. Obviously, like I'd be in the hospital, but. 
it was pretty damn obvious that the whole thing was a joke. I mean, nobody would actually be stupid enough to try this challenge for real. Right. right? Well, people began to question. What if you drank liquid vitamin, protein, and fats? What if you drank a liquid form of all the resources you need to live? Never eating solid mass again. Could you maybe get away with never pooping again? One maybe. person responded, I lasted 10 days. Whoa. I had to go to the hospital though, and it was 2015. Never tried it again, just Jesus. as a different TikTok. And look at his name too. Look at his name. That's why I lasted 10 days. I had to go to the hospital though, and it was 2015. Never tried it again. Look at his name. Jeffrey Dahmer. Yeah. 2015. Never tried it again, just as a different TikTok was also going viral. This guy held in his poop for 47 days. Bull poop. Nope. No way. Bull poop. I call bull poop. When he was pulled over, cops realized he ate something right before they came up to the window. He had swallowed drugs that were in his car. And while he was waiting behind bars, Lamar went on a poop strike. He simply refused to go to the bathroom altogether. He didn't go to the bathroom for literally 47 straight days. This Whoa. showed that the challenge was in fact possible, supported by a Reddit post giving countless other anecdotes. Uh -huh. I've gone two months without a bowel movement. It hurts a wow. lot and drains my energy, but it's happened a few times before. Usually nah. it's just around one month though. I literally did not go to the- Around one month or so, you get a bowel movement. Jesus. The toilet for a whole month after I effed up my bowels through laxative abuse. Mm. I was constipated for more than three weeks while pregnant. It was awful, but I didn't die. Okay, yeah, I can see the whole pregnancy thing. I mean, that, that kind of takes a toll on you not using the bathroom. I would know this because I have two kids and it is, uh, it's not pretty. It's not a, it's not a good thing to see or witness or anything but you know you have a family and you go through the uh, crazy emotions and crazy stuff that's going on and you just have to deal with it and yeah I, I totally get what she's saying I, I get it although sadly none of these people recorded it for their TikTok that would be until Shireen and Kathy Dole came along so here I am on day 33 of not doing a poo my tummy is in agony oh man stomach cramps constantly it's 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 so so painful she'd been Jesus. in and out of hospital as she simply couldn't poo. So I managed to date a big shite and that's me at the hospital now. I nearly fucking blocked the toilet pan. <laughs> oh! She'd therefore shift her TikToks to document her journey, beginning perhaps coincidentally right at the start of July. I am just at the bath and look at my tummy. I yeah. am bigger than anybody holding like two triplets wow. at eight months pregnant. As shown, Shireen looked like she was Jesus. pregnant with her involuntary no poop July uh, looking uh, like it would soon be ending. I am getting surgery tomorrow but it's taken so long to get here but I am so grateful. The surgery was successful, concluding her no poop July on the 21st Jesus. whilst other TikTokers like It's MacDougall were still clearly struggling to beat it. <laughs> OK Cron had returned for another year with significantly higher production value although this time receiving much more criticism. Perhaps due to Shireen's journey, Cron's two 2022 No Poop July featured an automatic TikTok disclaimer reading, participating in this activity could result in you or others getting hurt. Despite this, the challenge went even more viral than ever, gaining over 800,000 likes on Jesus. his very first episode in 2022. Yes, it's back, but uh. at what cost? By refining and perfecting his constipation face, OK uh. Con cracked a million likes for the first time on day 20, and by day 29, the entire squad was there to offer their support. To celebrate its completion by wearing his finest suit, which became his most watched video with over 18 million views. I didn't win in 2020, and I lost in 2021, but this year I did it. Thank you to everyone who supported me along the way. Doctors, however, weren't impressed by OK Cron's achievement. I'm Dr. Justin Sloan, and I'm here uh -huh. to tell you that there are consequences to not having a bowel movement, and these range from hemorrhoids all the way up to bowel obstruction. Woo! No poop July I can jokes imagine. are all over TikTok. Some doctors urge users not to try it for real. 
for the real. The ABC article written as the month was finishing read, some doctors warned that the trend should remain a joke, saying those who are successful at holding in their bowel movements could cause issues like hemorrhoids and yeah. a temporary dependence on laxatives, laxatives for regular bowel movements. Jesus. It's a funny thing to joke about, it, but it's yeah. a potentially serious thing to do. It really is. Dr. Stephen Miller, a pediatric gastroenterologist at Johns Hopkins Children's Center. Ironically, however, this media exposure only made the challenge even more popular. But mm. if you follow the graph a little oh, further, God, you'll no. see No Poop July was still only getting started. Oh my In God. 2023, even no. more TikTokers joined the challenge, no. such as Hulkmania Stanley, who no. basically just copied OK Cron's formula, unfortunately failing to add anything new. OK Cron himself had also barely changed anything. So despite again winning the challenge and joking about toilet eruption August, it seemed No Poop July was getting old, stale, and stinky. Yeah, that would I be agree. until 2024, All when right. OK Cron took the challenge to a whole new level. Jesus, the month began with what a do crazy you do? Announcement. This is what I'm saying. What do you do next? What, what What's the next move? This is where he got agents involved. I had to be. What's the next move? Look at this. He's got an app. What is this? No Poop July, the game? Pre-save now. Oh my God. No. <laughs> Expected July 1st, if you see. <laughs> look, look, look when it comes level. out. The month began with a crazy. Look at that. Expected July 1st. <laughs> <laughs> Announcement. The No Poop July video game is officially available for pre-save in the App Store. He'd built Jesus. an NPJ video game in which you have to run around shooting various pieces of food. It features weapons such as the toilet paper pistol, a full <laughs> line of in-game cosmetics, and a uh -huh. new boss for every day of July. Upon its release, oh, would announce, NPJ is the number one game in the world. What? Amazing game, life-changing, managed to get out of the divorce and take back custody of my kids after huh? showing the judge and And No Poop July itself still hadn't even started. I In addition it. to the game, Kron teased the challenge with its own official trailer, which did eventually manage to live up to the hype. Every single day had its own funny outfit, dressing up American for the 4th as Yoda uh -huh. for the 8th, and skipping yeah. toilet for day 22. After the yeah. month eventually ended, Kron uh -huh. had officially achieved the MPJ 3 Pete, yet he still wasn't finished. He'd announced that he'd made an official MPJ movie, and oh. while this seemed like just another joke, movie. it actually had a super wholesome twist. Right. When explained towards the end, toilet paper is often overlooked in donation drives, Yet it is one of the most essential and underdonated toiletries globally. It, it therefore spent yeah. almost a thousand dollars on it, explaining since I didn't have to poop for the entire month of July, it would instead be donated to a local charity. All Perhaps right. even more impressively, OK Cron had milked the 31 July. days for 103 different MPJ TikToks. Man. I guess it's not a bad idea, given the. But I'm seeing like how all these like toilet papers that he's using that is being wasted. It makes me so sad. I mean, you, you got to save your... I mean, you're just spending money on toilet paper and you're destroying it. I mean, look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all that toilet paper. Look, that's, that's good toilet paper. How are you ruining good toilet paper, sir? You should be ashamed. Look in each video. Uh, I, I think I think it's the same toilet paper because we're in like the same outfit. But look at the other the other video right on the left side over here. There's more toilet paper being used that is being destroyed. It's good solid. You could tell this is not cheap brand toilet paper. This is good toilet paper. Three different MPJ TikToks, but I guess it's not a bad idea given the challenge is seasonal and is also getting old. Viewers have commented the meme has been dead for over a year. Just let no. it go. Yet OK Cron believes he'll still be doing NPJ in 2089. In 2089, wow. So he's going to be, you know, just keep going with it. I mean, I guess that's, but the, what do you make after that? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's your, what's your, what's your plan? What's your thing? I mean, he made a game, which was really good. It was expected on July 1st, which was great. A, a fantastic idea. You need more fantastic ideas. I mean, even though this is not really a fantastic idea, I think this is a terrible idea, but it's working. If it's working, how do you keep going on? Because just like how it said in the video, the challenge is just going to get stale and stinky. Man, I don't know. But I guess we'll find out next year in uh, No Poop July.